hello i'm morris limba welcome to this tutorial today I'm, I'm going to show you how to install grasshopper tecla live link this bridges the gap between tecla structures and grasshopper that comes already installed on rhino 5 going forward and grasshopper tecla live link can be easily be accessed from our website let me just scroll down here and uh, you can have a look we have pre uh, pair tools and we have grasshopper tecla live link macros and uh, in this case i want just to show you a step on how you can get this uh, grasshopper tech live link macro so that you can work out your your your, your complex structures in tecla structures now you, you will have to part with some few coins to access it now i'll go ahead and click download right here and give it some time to respond and uh, here it is and uh, i'll go ahead and click download once again and and uh, if you don't have something on your, on your paypal account or paypal wallet uh, just go ahead and top up just click that wallet top up and give it some time some time to respond and uh, you go ahead and top up your wallet once again on paypal you feed the amount that has been requested right there and go ahead and, and confirm that and this will take you straight to to pay now and here it is we are on the paypal uh, paypal uh, dashboard and you'll be able to fill in your payment details the moment you you finalize the payment the download will, be, will begin immediately and you'll be able to get your file and you'll be able to install and start using that powerful macro that will make your your modeling much perfect and much easier and you, you'll be able to model very complex structures using that link Remember, the benefit that comes along is that this tool introduces algorithmic algorithmic modeling into Tecla Structures environment, which is fantastic. These are tools that you should not lack. If you're a BIM expert or, or, or if you're a steel, uh, steel detailer or a, uh, a professional designer, so once you have this plugin added on your system, I'm telling you, you will have the freedom and the capability, which is all now depends on your on your creativity to design and detail any structure with complex geometries in Tecla structures. Now, talks aside, and let's get started on how we can uh, put this bridge or uh, put this bridge that will link us between. Uh, uh, grasshopper and tecla link so that we can use the tools available in rhino and grasshopper and combine them and combine with, with those that are available in tecla structures and come with a very complex and very uh, interesting structure now i have my rhino in, on the screen here i can make the, the, the screen bigger now i can come on top here and i want to bring grasshopper just type grasshopper right there and I enter and this is the grasshopper i'll have this is a grasshopper environment so I'll, I'll first of all get rid of this and now let me just first of all minimize this and drag this so that we have we share the screen both of these let me just drag this aside and also drag this aside now this is rhino and inside inside rhino have this an, an add-on or an added tool called grasshopper this grasshopper is the foundation where we'll be we'll be placing on the link that will be able to bridge the gap between the the grasshopper or, or rhino with the with tecla structure so that we can use both tools available in here and inside tecla structure so that will come with a very complex structures and also we we can have we can model or create a structures with tools that we cannot find in tecla structures and we, we can be uh, and they can be found inside rhino here so what i'm going to do i want to show you how to install that a uh, plugin or uh, a bridge that or that link that will be able that will allow us to use these tools available inside here and uh, do a model inside here and export it to tecla structures or we can do it here and you can see it live on tecla structures environment so once you've done this you'll be able to 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 create your drawings tecla structures do whatever you want to that modern tecla structures it's remember it's a, it's a, it's a very complex structure uh, uh, structures that you'll be able to create with, with tools available here now let me show you that how to do that i want now to include uh that plugin into tecla structures or grasshopper so that we can we we can have something like this you can see in this case we have tecla already 
added or added on here so that we have the basic tools available in, te in Tecla structures so this is a link I have the freedom now to do a model here and and transmit it live on Tecla environment and, and once I've done that I'll have that model already in Tecla so to include that file you just come here under file once you've opened uh, the grasshopper you come to file here you come to file then come to to special folders f special folders here then come to components folder then click on on the component folder so j let's make it bigger so once you have your file ready you just paste it here now le now let me show you let me, let's go and find and find the folder or the link i have it ready here uh, grasshopper tecla links i'll open it here drag it aside so i'll copy this I'll, I'll select it right click and come to copy then once i've done that once my copy is active i've copied that i'll come here straight and paste it inside here just paste it inside here I'll replace the file in in in, in this destination I can replace it but this I had already done so I can just I can just skip the file and so you, once you have it here you have the grasshopper link here let me just make it bigger I, I have the grasshopper link here live link here for 2017 so once that has appeared you'll be able to see the tecla on the menu bar here so that means whatever you do here and uh, you want to transmit all this the model we're doing your modeling here will be transmitted straight and live on tecla structures however complex it, it is let me just show you one of these i have a model down here done in uh, in tecla structure done here so i'll just drag this and place it here and this is how it will look in a grasshopper environment so let me just select everything let me just select everything and minimize this so this is how it will look this is how you'll be communicating with your model and and if you want to to uh, to, to export it straight or connect to to tecla structures like uh, live you just come right there and uh, bring something like that and you connect all your geometries and you're able to transmit that to tecla structures this is how to install uh the grasshopper take a live link into grasshopper remember i'll come once again come to file you come to special folders here come to component folders uh, components folder open this paste it inside here restart your grasshopper and you'll be able to see this tecla added on here with the version already there this is tecla 2017 right there and thanks a lot don't forget to, to subscribe to this channel and this is download this this link this plugin is downloadable in on civil max and just visit and download it from there thank you and don't forget to subscribe and let me then bye bye